yesterday and Jay asked that we all wear red and we're I late to the party, but I don't have red. Have but I have fuchsia and Kate has red on her sleeves and her shorts. But we were thinking along those lines and we do have our little candle lit at the front um, yes. for our Holy Spirit to remind us. Yes. Um, so yes. Can you show what's going on your phone? So we'll be watching on Kate's phone, wherever that is. We will, when we find when it. When we find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we are um, glad to see y'all again today. We took last week off. We hope you had a great Memorial Day. Yes. Yes, of course it rained um, a lot of the time, but mm -hmm. it's beautiful today. Um, and so today we've got some fun recipes for you. Okay, get into our phone. Oh goodness, oh, we think goodness. we're so ready, and then we go, and then there's always just a little something. So <laughs> that's just life, I Your suppose. You're giving us, I'm sure. Um, so today, after Adrienne plays us in, yes. we're going to make a fantastic chocolate tart and Chinese chicken. Yes. But first, but first, let's see the tune. Oh, I'm so out of tune. <laughs> Welcome to Pantry Pantry. We know you might feel. Director of Hospitality at Fred's Methodist Church. And I'm Adrian Borden, Director of 50 Plus Ministries at First United Methodist. And we have just been doing this for a few weeks, just trying to stay current with everybody. We enjoy your participation and just to have new ways for us all to connect during our crazy time. Yes, and um, if this is your first time watching, we actually have a Facebook group yes. um, called Pandemic Pantry. And you can go there if you want to look at any of our past recipes. We have recipes with the methods and ingredients, pictures, and the videos of past weeks. And if you have friends who are on YouTube but not Facebook, that's a great place for them to go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So we've made um, several chocolate tarts with us. Um, well, no, we haven't made several chocolate tarts. We've made several tarts before. Yes. yes. Um, so we are just sticking to that tried and true method. But... Um, I wanted just to give a slightly different presentation today, and I have this um, jumbo cookie cutter, which I have loved for years and never ever used. Um, oh my it's just, gosh! You know, it's just never like the right moment. It's so, so it's big. It yep. is big. So with Memorial Day weekend when we were planning, and I was trying to be a little patriotic um, and thinking ahead to Fourth of July, I was like, how can we do the chocolate tart? So we're actually going to stick it to this is the bottom of one of my flan dishes. Um, it's a little sharp, but we are just going to use painter's tape. Oh my god! And tape it down. We're just going to make our own because we don't need to bake it. We're just refrigerating. Mm -hmm. So I am going to do that. And while I do that, could you just talk to the people over there? Yes, I'll, I'll do that. Later. Hey, um, I'm just saying hello to Skip. Skip is ready to eat. <laughs> uh, we are too. Judy Duggar is watching. Um, Elaine, uh, it looks like. Oh, she's the mom. Good yeah, morning. she is saying hello from Fort Payne. Aww, Nancy Belser is watching. Hey. Good morning, Nancy. And um, Sylvia, you says you can't see us yet, but I hope you can see us soon. Because I can I can see us on our little screen. So I hope you can see us. But keep us posted. Yes. Hey mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and hopefully my mom is watching from the UK. Um, probably not live, but as she gets to it, she can have a time difference. Hey, yes. Oh, Love is watching. Love to oh, Good morning, Love. Our youth director, Love DeBose, is on. So, hey. Okay, so <laughs> but while we were doing that, I was busy taping. And you can see it's sort of a botched job. Um, I don't need it to be perfect. I'm not worried about anything leaking out the bottom. I just want it to be still enough that when I hand it to Adrian in a minute, um, she can put up trust at the bottom and it not move around. Um, okay. And so the recipe called for butter cookies. And I interpret it's an English recipe, but I just interpreted it as those little round, are they Murray um, yes. all butter. Well, you know, nobody had any of those when I was shopping. So I went back to the trusty ginger snaps. So I've got 200 grams, which is around about eight ounces of trusty ginger snaps. Yum. Um, and then here we've got slightly less than the 100 grams of butter a lot of butter. When we made our practice one, it did, I don't think it needed that much. Um, <laughs> and then this is a, another English fun thing that uh, if you're not familiar with, it's called golden syrup. Um, it's 
quite a... It looks like honey. It does look like honey. You could use honey as a substitute. But if you wanted to try this, they sell it at Publix, Lyle's Squeezy Syrup. Mm -hmm. um, and it's sort of like a, a heavy um, cane syrup. And we're just going to add maybe a tablespoon in there. All right. And then I am going to let off Adrian. And I put it into the warm butter because while it's fairly liquid, it's, it's a sticky creature. So better if we can... Um, let it loosen up in there. So you're going to tip that into there okay. and make your base. Okay. I'm going to move our little light yes. just to the side. Our, the Holy Spirit's going. moving. Yeah. Um, and while you're doing that, I'm just going to run out the back and microwave chocolate. Now it asks for chocolate bars as opposed to just cooking chocolate. If you've just got cooking chocolate, that's fine. You can just melt your chocolate chips. Um, but we went a little bit more decadent. If you're going to do chocolate tart, you may as well go Cadbury's. <laughs> so we've got them. royal dark chocolate and then you know one from each side of the ocean here and then we have the dove milk chocolate. Dove is pretty good too. Yes I do quite like dove. And I never shall forget when Kate's daughter Pia came to my office and she wanted chocolate and I offered her Hershey's and she said I want real chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Go Pia. Yeah. Um, so I've broken those into those little cubes and I'm just going to hop out the back to the microwave and I'm going to microwave it 30 seconds, give it a shake, and then maybe another 30, but that's about it. All right. And while I'm doing that, let's move Adrian swiftly along. You want me to put, these in the, put this in the star? Yes, I'm going to spray that real quick. Okay. Um, spray that with your cooking spray. And if you don't have cooking spray, just put a little bit of oil in there. It doesn't need very much because you have all that butter in mm -hmm. there that's going to help release it. But Does your tart, do you have to use something metal for your tart? No, you could just use a pie shell. You okay. could use, remember um, before we had used a cake tin, a small cake tin. Mm -hmm. um, we used this little guy before and we built up the sides and we did yes. it. And then it was a deeper one because we went down. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've just got a pie, you can even just do it in a pie plate if that's what you've got. Okay. All right, so you're getting the confident. I'm going to tip all that in there, and then you're going to slowly, it takes a little bit longer to mesh it in there. So all while right. you're mushing and chatting. All right, so we'll do. And I didn't mean to leave Terry Dothero out of my my hello. Judy Duggar, I'm ready to eat too. Skip and, and um, yeah, I just haven't, you know, we had a dog like that um, when I was a teenager, and... He's just full of love, that Winston. He's a sweetie. Um, Alyssa's okay. watching. Hey, Julie Robertson. Hey. Yay. That is doing another 30 seconds. Okay. I'll just, I'm going to start I'll matching. I'm, just, I'm still trying to like distribute mm. this without making a man. You are good. And we've got queen hands, so we just start. Yes. So you can use your fingers. I'll take that for okay, you. Okay, thank you. Um, and squidge it. Squidge. Squidge. It's a good technical term. Yeah. She learned that at Le Cordon Bleu. Yeah, we pay a good mind for that. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm going to bring this just back in so you can see. Um, you know, it, it may not look like it's melted, but I feel like it is. Um, you don't want to just keep going, hoping it's going to go liquid. No. Okay, um, Sarah Ann. But the bowl is very hot. So now, probably the Pyrex. Mm -hmm. It's going to do its duty. Am I squidging up the sides too? You are. Okay. Yes. So you're going to probably halve your base. Mm hmm Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, it smells heavenly. It does. We talked about, you know, we're going to add cream to this, and we talked about the merits of, you know, could you use yogurt? And I think you could, because we made that chocolate mousse before, and that's that really hard. So with plain Greek. Plain Greek all fat yogurt, not yes, the low fat one. Yes, the low fat, it didn't set well. Right. Um, but you know, if you're making chocolate tart, you, you know, it is Come what it is, in. really. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, can we, did, we talked about that too. We talked yeah. about the way to make it diet, and Kate yeah. said, maybe, maybe, maybe diet the fruit. don't eat chocolate tart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, and I'm persevering here. I do still have a few lumps, but I don't have enough that I won't warrant putting that back in the microwave. I'm just going to let the heat of that bowl. Your hubby's watching. Ah, uh, hey, Joe. I'll save you some tart. <laughs> maybe. 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 We're going to try the diet thing. Oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Adrian and I are both trying to be super healthy, but it's, it's easier said than done. Isn't it? 
Okay, so that is nice and smooth. And our weather has warmed up, so where I've often had stuff ready to go on the side, mm -hmm. I had it all in the fridge today. Okay, and I'm, I'm trying to bring this up the sides, and it's actually cooperating pretty well, and I think probably because of the butter, it's like the perfect consistency. Hey, is that, am I doing okay? Okay, yeah. yay. Can you just, the only other thing that you could do to improve on your technique is to try and have your wall go down and across instead oh, of yes. curving. Yes. Because then you don't get that whole, you don't break a denture. Yeah. Yes, break I don't break a denture. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I paid good money for these dentures. So I'm going to a tube. Okay, so this in here, I believe I've got 200 um, milliliters. So I'm all, all discombobulated for you guys today. But I think the menu that I posted, we have translated. Um, yes. So we have it in cups and things that are easy to understand. But I've got 200 mils of whipping, heavy whipping cream that I have whipped. Um, soft, you know, not, not, not a firm whip. And then we've got vanilla essence, and we're just doing a little teaspoon of that. If you don't have vanilla essence, you could put a dribble of, um, oh, oh, hello. It's My butterfingers got slippery. All right. Oh, that smells even better. And then we mm -hmm. are just going to add these two together. And by the time I get this together, Adrian will have yes. finished I'm that trying tart. to press down the corners, the curves. Flatten the curve, Adrian. I'm flattening the curve. It's pressure. I think it's doing really well, though. This is cooperative. I feel no, like it's more it's cooperative wonderful. than the last one. For me. Okay. And that is, that is really it. Right, all I'm going to do is squidge that together. Mm. Squidge. It's a lot of, lot of textural words mm -hmm. that come to mind when you're talking about chocolate and cream and scrumminess. Smooth. Now the other fabulous thing about this is we did make Prax one and it's been in the freezer and we got it out today. It freezes beautifully. It's beautiful. Um, and then we'll show you when we get to our presentation stage, but you know, you could really whip this into a 4th of July fun dessert, um, mm -hmm. red, white, and blue with those fresh berries. There it goes. Okay. So we, look at that. Oh, perfect <gasps> timing. Mm. That was incredible. So mm. simple. So, mm. And then that is going to set firmly in the fridge. Yes. So I'm going to just okay, how did I, scoot how did that I to you. Look, A star. She did good. <laughs> and then you're just going to blob it in there. Look at that. Blob. I'm going to put it all in the middle. That looks so good. Kind of. Lynn is watching. Hey, Lynn Thrower and Betty Saunders. Good morning. Hi. Well, it's probably afternoon now. <gasps> but, you know, a cup of tea. But you always drink chocolate cake. I think we should stick to our traditions. Yes. Okay. Gently smooth. Mm -hmm. You did a fantastic job with your crust. Oh, I hope so. I you sure tried. You sure gave it your all. Mm -hmm. That will be perfect for the Fourth of July. The stars. Yes, and so we also thought, as we were, you know, brainstorming ahead, um, let's just get that to the corners. At this stage. You know, the recipe just tells you, put it in the fridge for two hours, mm -hmm. and then it's happy for up to two days in the fridge. You could put it in the freezer, you know, probably for a month. Um, if you were lucky, I should think it's probably like when you buy the Girl Scout cookies, I expect it's really good frozen too. Um, I don't suppose that keeps it from anybody. No. Um, but if you were going to do the 4th of July presentation, I would then put some um, whipped cream Either now, if I was doing it for my to eat, you know, tomorrow, I would mm -hmm. put whipped cream and just push that all the way over. So when I lifted it off, I was going to have just a nice white top to my star. Yes. And that way, when I put my berries on, I'm going to have my blueberries, raspberries, so my red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. It's all going to come together like that. So um, Otherwise, of course, you could do chocolate. You could do um, white chocolate mm -hmm. on the top with your berries if you didn't want to do the cream. That would just be a different way to do it. So we are going to slide. That's it. That is our chocolate tart. That's the chocolate tart. tart. Slide so wonderful. Um, 
Yum. While we've been doing that, so we slide that in. Okay. And I'm going to pass you all of our goodies to put together oh, our chicken salad. Chicken. Yum. Russell Bush is watching. Hi. And Cynthia Compassi. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Sorry. Yeah, what else? Oh, yes, would you like to look? There's um, yeah. cucumber. with a squeeze of lemon um, and threw them in the oven for like 35 minutes. Uh, if you had roasted a chicken, you know, from a, a previous event, you could pick all the rest of the chicken off the bone and use that. If you don't have any time, you can buy a couple of rotisserie chickens um, mm -hmm. from the deli counter. That would work too. And if you're a Costco shopper, they sell that rotisserie $5. chicken. Five dollars. Delicious. Is it? Yum. It's either oh, five or six. Yes, for a chicken. But if you buy the vacuum packed meat oh. that they've already picked off, it's like twelve dollars. But it's ever so useful. That is very useful um, when you don't want to burn your hands off yeah. when you bring that thing home. You need to pick all the chicken off. <laughs> and we sh we shredded it sort of. But you want to like we've talked about before. You want sort of bite sized chunks. You don't want people to be trying to figure out how to get it in their mouth when yes. they're eating. So I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Okay. So I was going to wash your hands, and we are working on our next um, drop-off event. What? Uh, and we have to tear them in your planner. Right? So, so we're doing the next drop will be meal delivery. Is one more. One more. June. Here we go. It is um, on the third. Oh no, we're trying it on the Wednesday evening. Okay, well this is in, yes. in the works and you'll want to double check the dates. But mm -hmm. we are doing our first drop off, I believe, is going to be on Thursday the 11th. And yes. it's going to be baking for frontline responders, mm -hmm. such as EMTs, mm -hmm. um, policemen who show up to the scene, ambulance drivers, I mean those are yes, EMTs, fire fighters. firefighters. Mm -hmm. um, so those people... You know, the, we've given the, the medical workers lots of love, and we will continue to do that, but um, this will be helpful for those people who are really just sweating and sweating day after day by responding to the um, medical needs of people. Yes, and so many more calls with people at home, you know, trying yes. to grill on their balcony and do crazy things. I know and they've been a lot yes, busier. Yes, or working on their aerial mm -hmm. skills. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Whatever. that will be the same thing, two cookies per bag. Zip blocked, and there'll be a drive through time on that Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. And then, as you're shopping and collecting bits and pieces, because I know we don't go out every day like we used to, but mm -hmm. just have in the back of your mind that on Wednesday the 17th, and all of this is on the website, we are going to do a soda pop drop um, and collect drinks to go to the sanitation department. Yes. So, be it soda pop, be it Gatorade, be it water, mm -hmm. um, and think outside the box. Everyone loves a Diet Coke, but you know, maybe some Fanta or Sprite, some Strawberry Crush. Sun or, yeah, something fun. And again, that will be a drive through, but we'll do it in the evening. Yeah. And I know right now Target's got, you know, four for $11, so you can stock up and have it ready. They want to sell that to you. Judy Duggar says she bought some of the Costco chicken yesterday. She is prepared. Oh, you're ready to go, girl. And then the last one we're going to do, just to finish off that little spiel, is. On the 25th of June, we are going to be doing salty snacks and trail mix. Yes. So that was our Lucas came up with that. It was a good idea. So we were asking you to make a homemade trail mix, perhaps, or buy some individual mm -hmm. ones, scoop it in a bag. If you don't want to do that, we're asking you to purchase lip balms yep. and gum. Gum. Because it's super hot under those masks and uh, our healthcare mm -hmm. workers. So that's going back to healthcare. Yep. That and that, will those, those will be... Three completely different, but mm. all very helpful and, and loving up the, the first responders and the medical workers and the 
the sanitation department. So yes, and then Adrian's got a drop box, and we'll tell mm -hmm. you about if you can't make the event, how you can do it. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. There we go. That was our shout out. Back to pandemic <laughs> pantry. <laughs> so, um, okay, so back to our chicken. So we've got wonderful chicken, and then really, this is just so simple. The recipe calls for shredded peppers and poached, um, um, not poached, blanched asparagus. Mm -hmm. So let's just quickly talk about the asparagus. I had ordered, um, you know, a big bunch of asparagus. They substituted with a little bag of pre-snapped asparagus. Uh, so I don't get to show you normally, you know, it's got a much longer stem. If you don't know, with asparagus, you just, it has a natural breaking point. They've kind of pre-snapped, but, you know, that was a few days ago. So I'm still snapping my ends off. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that I have, you could come do that with Yeah, me. I can snap. Um, and then I'm actually just snapping them in half again so that when we cook them, they'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Now the rule for um, vegetables, if you don't know, mm -hmm. is if they grow above the ground, they go into hot water. So traditionally they're your green vegetables. So they grow above the ground, they go into hot water, um, cook them, and then you run them instantly into cold water, usually to set that color. So that's what I want. My mind can, is blown right now. If they grow under the ground, so like a potato Radish. or a carrot, mm -hmm. they go into cold water with a lid on, and you bring them up to temperature and cook them that way. So above the ground, no lid, hot, below oh the ground God. with a cover, just as a rule of thumb. Um, wow. So that's something, just a little fun handy little tip. Tidbit. So we've got boiling water on here. We are just going to toss our asparagus in there. Um, you know, if you're cooking asparagus to eat, I don't know if they still sell them, they have those very old fashioned um, asparagus cookers. Uh, so you would actually cook your asparagus. This is green onion, I, I do know that's not an asparagus, but I'm using it as a visual. Um, you would cook it this way up and you would only have your water come halfway. So the water, your stems would be in the water and then the steam would cook the florette top of your asparagus so that it would stay tender and not overcooked. Wow, um, okay. So yeah, it's quite a, an art to it. Asparagus it with a poached egg on I it. I always bake my asparagus pretty much. See, that's really good too, and that's even easier. You just throw it on a tray with a little olive oil and run it in the oven. Mm -hmm. So that can be done ahead of time. We just wanted to um, talk to you about little veggies. Yes, and I didn't so. know how to blanch. When we talked about this recipe calling for blanching, we, we talked about whether we should show that or not, and I said, I'd love to learn how to blanch personally. <laughs> so we are doing it. So they are literally, we, do, we want them al dente, so we want them crunchy, so I just want that to come back to the boil. So, well, I'll um, watch it. you watch it. So we had peppers, they were required in our recipe. I had several, um, so we split them in half. If you remember, you just make a little V yes. at the bottom to pop your seeds out. And this doesn't have much extra in there, but if no, there were doesn't. more, you would just pull. And then we did a quarter. Amy Burns is watching, and Elaine said that those are great tips. Yes, and then there's just a, thank you, there's just a little shred. So, again, we were looking at our calorie count for today. We were thinking about summer. We had a lot of veggies in the fridge, so we've kind of jazzed up this recipe by adding additional mm -hmm. veggies. And I'm getting ready for a wedding in September. So I want to look good. <laughs> oh, you already look good, but it's nice to just ramp that up a little bit. I think everybody does that in the summer. We're all worried we're going to come out of isolation now, having you know been at home a lot. Yes. Um, beginning to think about what that might look like. So shredding that real quick. Oh, poor Adrian has some allergies going on today. So she is off camera, taking care of that for a second. So in addition to my pepper, um, I had zucchini in the fridge, so courgettes, and I decided that I would just do a little stick of those too. So really, woohoo, just um, slipped him in half, and then I'm just going to make him into little thin matchsticks. Again, you want it to be something that you can just put in in one mouthful, um, and it not be awkward or strange. Oh, we're back to the boil. Back to the boil, okay. So switching gears, so they literally just boiled for a hot minute. Can you, I don't know, can you see that? They are bright green. You could plunge it in a water bath, but really none of us have got time for that. So I just get to pack nice and cold. I have my calendar ready. Push it under the calendar. And lots of cold water on the bottom. 
trying to even out our, our ratio of meat to yeah. veggies just a little more, but you don't have to. You can you don't stick have with to what I gave you initially. You as much meat as you want. Which was peppers and sparks. Asparagus. Mm -hmm. um, Asparagus. And I'm going to let that sit till the last minute. The reason being, that is still warm, and that is a chicken salad. Yes. So unless I was going to eat that instantly, I don't want to add something hot right. to my cold chicken, or it's going to encourage germs. So in the meantime, Adrian is just going to work together that dressing. Yes. So I have here, is this vegetable oil? Yes, you've got a cup of vegetable oil to get you started. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. From the coffee, I have a hiccup. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to put a half a cup of uh, creamy peanut butter. Yum. Oh, and while Adrian's scooping. So yeah, these are, I don't know if any of you have got these. I love these on my cups. Look, and you pop them out. They make for such great storage in the mm -hmm. drawer. Um, don't think you're going to need the cup that long, but you're going to need these ones. Okay. And while Adrian's doing that, I'm just, we're just going to put ours in the jam jar and, uh, and shake it. Um, so this is our ginger. You know, ginger comes like this. We've just peeled it. And I've got a couple of cloves of garlic that I've just popped out there. So while Adrian is scooping and measuring, I'm just going to chop fast over here. Mm-hmm. Kate's a very fast chopper. <laughs> I'm not. You are, and you are getting better. Yes, I yes, and you've taught me a lot of really better. great techniques. And if you um, if you don't want to chop or you're not a good chopper, you can grate both of these. You can just use the large part of your grater oh. for, you know, a machine, if you've got a machine that you like I to I have do. one of those chuck, 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 chuck. You know, yeah, you just see, hit that, it over and over. That's up. fabulous too. Okay. And you know, you also, because we like to give you all the choices, mm -hmm. we had, um, on a different episode, used, good, look at my fridge. Oh, okay. We had used these. Um, where it's pre-done. This is a lemongrass, but you can get a garlic and you can get a ginger and you can just do a squeeze of that instead. Mm -hmm. But it's something, if you can do fresh, it's, it's always better. True. Okay, I'm going to do now a fourth a cup of apple vinegar cider. Yes, apple that's vinegar good. cider is very, have you ever done that where you take a teaspoon a day? No, have you? I did it once when I was Staying with a friend. Hello, Penny. Um, <laughs> the weekend was nasty, but uh, I didn't feel instantly slimmer. But uh, that's be good for your digestion. I definitely heard a lot about that kind of diet in Los Angeles when I lived there. It's a bit extreme. It is. And this this is a third of a cup, right? That is a third of okay. a cup. This is clear. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry. I have not pre-opened all of this. This is the. We've got nails. So this is the vinegar there. that we've got. Apple cider. Uh, you do want a fairly decent one. Don't get the cheapest one on the shelf because it's quite a feature in your dressing. Mm -hmm. um, it won't be good. I think I had a little too much ginger. <laughs> I love ginger. Oh, my garlic. I've just popped those out of their skins. And off we go. Chop, chop, chop. It already smells wonderful. It does smell really good. 
Okay, this is great for a crowd. Children like this. It's got peanut butter in it. Yes, peanut butter. Oh, children's intellect value. Could you use almond butter if you can't eat peanuts? I'm sure you could. Yes. All right, in goes soy sauce. That was a third a cup of soy sauce, and we're using less sodium soy sauce. I feel like that's a, like the, the standard now. Yes. Um, okay, three well. tablespoons of sesame seed oil. Oh, oh that's just so I good. Love that. that really is the, the kicker to the thing. You really do, mm -hmm. you can't really get away without that. Mm -hmm. So all of my ginger and garlic is going in. Oh, okay. And I'm using, should I use this as a tablespoon? Um, you can use, how about this one? Okay, how about a an actual how about tablespoon? It? Oh, I had hijacked it. <laughs> Three tablespoons, yum. Right. So all of that can be done. You can make your dressing, you know, a couple of days ahead. Mm -hmm. And you can keep it. I would keep it separate until you know the morning of. If you were serving it supper, and then mix mm -hmm. it together in the morning and let it sit in the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, so easy entertainment. Easy to double up the recipe. Um, and also, while Adrian's doing that, I've got some little green onions that we are just going to take the white and the red and the red <laughs> and the green and just chop all the way up. So, oh, that smells good. Okay, pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. Pinch of salt, pinch of pepper. Okay. Gosh, I need to sharpen my knife for this cooking. My dad loves sharpening knives. Okay, Dad. Hello, Dad. Can you come help? Oh, yeah. I'll send them home, Adrian. Yeah, yes. Okay, and then in go the sesame seeds. Okay, that's everything I have here. Yes. Good. And um, if any of you, well, you can print the recipe. And I have to say, this is just an Inga Garten recipe. I love her. She makes AKA the very barefoot Contessa. She makes it easy, entertaining. So that's really where this comes from. So that is everything on our list. Yes. And then you're gonna go, go, girl. Go girl! It doesn't leave us a lot of shaking room, does it? So see how you get on and then we might have to intervene. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake your dress in. Shake your dress in. <laughs> oh. Maybe you can block that out for a minute. <laughs> you want me to sing silently? Yes. I feel I feel left out. I need something. Perhaps I should have done that while you were ukuleleing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Look at that. That does look good. I just wanted to. You, you know. wanted to oh, shake it too. Wanted to you wanted to. Too. That's a great job for your little hands and little health in yes, the kitchen. Yes, little people could easily do that. Easily shake your dressing. Okay, we've gone for a big white bowl. Um, so we we just changed things around a little bit this week, so that we could just do quick and easy. So what would you serve with this? You could do a wild rice and orzo, you could do a rice salad, mm -hmm. you could just put it in a wrap. That's really delicious. Today we're going to use just a big green lettuce that I've washed. Mm. And my thinking is that, you know, you can make lettuce wraps with this um, to stay on that healthy side of things. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to line my bowl, um, family supper, you know, grab a lettuce leaf. Oh, look at that. And yes. Then just roll it up. And serve it together. So that's probably enough for us to show you. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, oh, do you want to do the honors? Yes. Put it on there. All of this? Well, how about you give it another big shake and then do half. Oh, it does smell sensational. So good. Okay, how about I'll mix, and okay. then you could um, tip again, and then we're both going to tip more. Well, if we need to. Okay. You know, what are we missing? We're missing our asparagus. Yes, our blanched, blanched, blanched. There it is, nice and bright green. Beautiful. Yum. And cold. So say, and if you if you don't have that, you can always put a green bean in there. Mm -hmm. And we've already got the green from our zucchini. We're really doing it for color, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's. I'll take another half of half of what you have there. <gasps> oh. Mm. oh, isn't that good? Mm. Mm -hmm. If we had smell a vision, I know it would be so nice. Sorry, we can't let you smell it. Okay, so that's it.
There it is. Full Yum. iron aging. Um, maybe even just a, a hair more. Mm. Okay. You then you could serve your rest of your dressing on the side. Mm, that's true. Um, so we are going to Yum. watch this. Well, well, we'll come closer with the camera at the end when we get the chocolate charge mm -hmm. out. So there it goes. Into the middle there. Oh my gosh, it's a mound yep. of gloriousness. Yes. And that is the key word, mound of gloriousness. You don't want to flatten all that to, you know, that some people have that temptation to smooth the top, but you want it to look like you want somebody to dive in. It should look Ooh, asymmetrical. It should look tempting. And tempting. And we're just going to go and drizzle off. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go ahead and wipe the counter. Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds come um, untoasted for the most part. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever bought them toasted. You just lay them on a baking sheet, pop them in a warm oven, you know, 300, 350, but watch them. I mean, they literally take three or four minutes. Yes, they're um, so tiny. They are, and they're quite expensive, so it's a, it's quite a, a major mistake if you don't get it right. I have black sesame seeds in the cupboard. That would be pretty on there too. But we're putting oh my gosh, just that looks our little sesame and then we're going to sprinkle oh, green onions on the top. That's beautiful. And then as we serve that, I could have tossed a few in. I don't want to put any more on. It would look intimidating if you're not an onion person. But that's I true. think that looks rather good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's amazing. Our amazing salad. There's our chocolate tart. Beautiful. Almost, almost all in. <laughs> and there's That's the chicken salad. salad. Oh, it looks amazing. Look at that. So gather mm. your family and hopefully you can have fun with that recipe too. Mm-hmm. And then next week, if you're able to join us next week, I can tell you we are going to be doing crepes. So a little mm -hmm. Parisian fun. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make a crepe from scratch <laughs> and um, some fun ideas to do with it. How to do sweet and savory crepes. Um, we're going to do a, a, a kind of dinner dish and baked in. It's um, 
using it almost like you would use noodles, but mm -hmm. that would be good. It's going to be yummy. So thanks for joining us today. Yes. And um, send us your pictures if you have a go. We always love to get them. And I'll tune my ukulele before the next one. <laughs> thanks for watching Pandemic Pantry. Now you can make a chocolate tart that's so fancy fancy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your chicken salad in the sunshine today. And we're sorry that you've got to go on your way. <laughs> Yay! <laughs>